we go. We've got gold pool round number one coming out here. 2022 Defense Soap Duels matches brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense Soap. Out of the gate here, we're going to have our 60 pounders out of the gate. We're going to have Max Seiko taking on Judd. Judd versus Seiko. Judd in the red and blue. Seiko in black, green, and gold. Seiko with a front headlock on Judd right now. Matches are brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, Built, and Barbarian and Pearl Conquer the Impossible. Two takedown. Max Seiko. Seiko up 2 0. This is Palmer. So Palmer out of Columbus Column Palmer Wrestling Club. And West Shore here. West Shore going to be black and gold. Seiko 2 0 lead here on Judd. So here we go, gold pool. The other gold pool is 9-2-2 versus BTW. Time is up, 2-0 lead here in the first for Max Seiko of West Shore over Judd of Colin Palmer's, Palmer trained. 60 pounders are on the mat. We're neutral to start the second. Seiko 2 0 lead on Judd. Seiko waiting in for double unders, pushing. Spin go behind for Seiko. Two takedown. He's got that cradle strapped up. He's got that leg too. Trying to bump him. Max Seiko could be looking for a fall here. Seiko's in a good position here to pick up that ball. Oh, there it is. It's close. He's going after it, heading the ribs now, readjusting as Max Seiko on the edge there, looking to crack him down. Judd doing a nice job of fighting it. Seiko going after it, 48 seconds left, minute first period, 132nd, 133rd. Leonard, Leonard. Seiko going after it. He's got it now, could be looking for a fall. This would be huge for West Shore. Great job by Judd getting belly down. Seiko going after it. Judd kind of turns into him. And now Seiko's in some trouble. Rolls him through. Oh, wow. Is he holding three? He must be. He's holding two, it looks like. End of the period, 6-0 lead, Max Seiko, Judd's choice, going into the third. Check that. Seiko's choice going into the third, he chooses neutral. Both guys chose neutral. So here we go, Seiko, Judd on the line, 6-0 lead. If you're Max Seiko, you gotta be thinking major decision. Seiko in the black singlet, gold. Eagles on the back. Here we go, 105, Seiko needs at least two. He's gonna try and pancake and run him over. And he's gonna try and get his wrist out. He can't even get his wrist out. Wow, Judd does a nice job there. Kind of caught his wrist in a weird spot. Seiko with that front headlock trying to go behind. He's gonna do that. Seiko now with an 8-0 lead. The major decision is in his control right now. So 8-0 lead, he's got the major locked up. Is he gonna get it? This is your gold pool. All four gold pool teams will wrestle each other. Three more duels. Burnett Train 922 are out on the mat right now. And West Shore and Palmer here. Palmer, a St. Ed's guy, a West Shore guy. And Seiko gonna pick up the 8-0 major decision. 4-0 lead. 
West Shore over Palmer here in the first round of the Gold Pool here at the Defense Up Duels. Max Seiko, your winner. Versus Palmer, 4-0. Eagles, we're gonna call them Eagles. West Shore on top right now, Palmer. So our 64s are out next, I believe. Looks like we're gonna have a walkover here for Sharples, I think that is. Let me check the lineup. The lineup says Sharples, no pay. Supposed to be a pay. Looks like we're gonna have another walkover here for Leonard. Leonard gets the forfeit. So Sharples and Leonard are gonna make it 16-0 in favor of the Eagles. And now, coming out, Malarczyk and Sturgill. 72 pounders, Malarczyk. Malarczyk in the black and gold for West Shore. Malarczyk and Sturgill. Sturgill for Palmer. So Sturgill versus Malarczyk. Malarczyk wearing the Okie State headgear. Sturgill for Palmer in the red ankle band. So this is your first round gold pool. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built in Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. This is your Defense Soap duels. These are your gold top four teams. Burnett trained 9-2-2. And Malarczyk on top. Now, wow. Sturgill catches him, though. But it's 2-0 Malarczyk. Malarczyk working to trip him down here. And Sturgill looking to get out. They're going to go stall on Malarczyk as time expires. 2-0 lead Malarczyk. Seventy-two pounders are on the mat. Malarczyk 2-0 lead, but does have a stall warning. You're right. There you go. Ask for forgiveness, dude. There you go, buddy. So Malarczyk underneath. Sturgill on top. These are your defense soap duels. You can see the other match going on next door with. Burnett trained and 922 in the live feed. And Larchick and Sturgill. Sturgill from Headlock. So one escape, Malarczyk, Malarczyk 3-0 lead on Sturgill. Shot, Malarczyk kind of swims his arm through. Now into the body of Sturgill. Sturgill with a single now. Now has him cracked down. Sure, those got a score. He's down 3 0. <laughs> Nothing. Malarczyk freaking gyromites his hips out. Now Malarczyk's got him in trouble. Wow, what an exchange. These guys are going at it. Your dual score 16 to 0 in favor of West Shore. End of the period. Malarczyk choices Sturgill. Sturgill going to go underneath to start the third. Cheating, false start, Sturgill.
Larchuk, driver's seat here, 3-0 lead. Sturgill gonna try and come out here. West Shore pitching a shutout right now against Palmer. There's a switch now. Larchuk in a good spot here. He's got that leg hook, the boot comes in. Larchuk right in cross body now. Right now, Palmer needs something big. They're down 16-0 to West Shore. 9-2-2 in Burnett. Delete six. 8-6 Burnett over there. 16-0 over here. West Shore in control here. Malarchuk had that. Now Malarchuk, what are we calling here? They award him two yet? It's only three on the board. I don't know how Malarchuk doesn't have two yet. The boot comes in. No, oh, because he, he's just been riding. Never mind. It's hard to keep track, folks. Sometimes I lose my mind. This being one of the times as Malarchuk gets a ride out in the third. Malarchuk picks up the 3 0 decision. 19 to 0. West Shore dominating Palmer. Here in the Defense Hope Duels, round one of the Gold Pool. Large check with the win. All right, next. Coming out next. Here we go. 72 pounders are on the mat. 72 pounders are on the mat here at 72 pounds. 76. This is 76, right? 76, we got, we got Beachland and Mobley. Beachland for West Shore, Mobley for the Palmer, Colin Palmer's team in red, the red ankle bands. Here we go, Defense Soap Duels, Gold Pool, round number one. 19-0 lead right now for West Shore, and they're looking to pile it up here as there is a takedown for Beachland. The West Shore Eagles, I'm gonna call them, are dominating.
So West Shore with another win. That one's a major decision for West Shore, and they're rolling right now, and someone's gonna have to step up for Palmer, and we'll see if that happens. So here we go next. I believe 80 pounders are coming out next. So right now this duel is 23 to zero. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, the film that you've built. Gold Pool 2022 Defense Soap Duels. 80 pounders, Lipsicum coming out versus Huddleston. Lipsicum going to be for West Shore in the black singlet. He's gonna take on Huddleston. Huddleston. Huh? Oh, wrong. Okay, they got the they got the wrong. Okay, so this is Sandoval. Ziggy Sandoval out for Palmer to Sandoval. Sandoval, thank you for the fix there. I appreciate that, sir. Sandoval taking on Lipscomb. Oh, they got Sandoval up at 84 is what they have. And it looks like Sandoval is going to put his team on the board, looking for a ball. He's got it. Oh, there it is. It was close. Looking to get Palmer back in this thing. There's Sandoval gonna have a fall. I got a great angle of it. Sandoval with the fall. And Palmer's back in this thing just like that. 23 to 6 now. It was 23 0. It looked like West Shore was gonna run away with it. And now we got a dual meet. Sandoval picking up a huge fall quick in the first period. That's huge. There it is. Sandoval with the win. Palmer on the board. 23 to 6. Okay. Yeah, I know. Channing. All right. So here we go. We got Channing. Channing at 84 pounds for Palmer. Channing is taking on Shork. Shork at 84 pounds. 84 pounds. Channing for Shork. Channing in some trouble. Short gonna have a 4-0 lead. I don't know if we gave any near falls on that. So short up quick on Channing. Peterson. Channing Peterson, got it. Channing Peterson. It's not on the lineup like that. So Goon Squad, welcome to the Goon Squad, the West Shore dads who are currently Watching, oh, Shork runs him over with a bar, looking for a fall, and looking to make up for that Sandoval pin. He's got Peterson in some trouble. Shork looking for the fall, short time. Peterson's gonna survive to the second. Shork quick out of the gate. So Channing Peterson has his name on the front of the thing with CP. Short covers. Shout out to the Millbury Lake Strangler, the Millbury Lake Mauler, Jeff Polk, my guy. Northwest Ohio NWO for life, even though we're NEO for life now. There is a stall on Peterson underneath. Short putting it on him, 8 0 now. Can you send me this? Dude, that'd be awesome. Ah, uh, you know what? All my oh, phones are. Right. This is like an old dead phone. Here, I can take a picture of it. Yeah. Make it big. That's even better, dude. Are you sendable? Yeah. yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> got him on the. Got him on the board. Thanks. So here we go. Channing Peterson and Short. Getting the job done right now for West Shore. 8 0 lead. 25 seconds left in the second. You can see the clock in the left hand corner. 8 0 lead for short. This is short, right? Yes. Okay. The lineups are wrong. The lineup's not correct. So this is short, though, right? Okay. Short looking for the fall here on Peterson's. Peterson's going to survive another period. It's going to be 10 0 short. Going to go neutral. Attack 
with a takedown here, but he's probably gonna go try and go feet back. 23 to six in favor of West Shore here in the duel. Short putting it on Peterson. Nice little barrel roll. Oh, that was beautiful. He keeps the arm. He's gonna try and have to go for that. It's a 12-0. They're gonna call it. No, he, he blows it dead. He does give him the two near fall. But Short with the tech. Five team points on the board. Gonna be 28 to six. Going into, I believe it's 90 pounds next. So there it is. Sims and Bush coming out next at 88. 84 to 88. So Shark with the tech, 28 to six. West Shore. So West Shore dominating here. Next out for West Shore. We're gonna be sit, see Sims and for at 88 pounds for Palmer is going to be Bush. Bush, Palmer, Sims, West Shore. So Willem Bush. Looking for, well, he's getting cradled up right now by Sims. Sims 2-0 lead, he goes back to it. Now he might be going turf. And West Shore up 28 to six right now. Sims with that down leg turk, hooks the far, hooks the turk, got the far arm. Right now, West Shore dominating this still 28 to six. One, two O lead Sims. Sims dominating here. Defense soap duels. Willem Bush for Palmer. They're in a little bit of a scramble. Sims looking for another takedown here, looking for near falls. Willem Bush in some trouble here. And now the down leg Turk again scoops the head. Sims looking for near fall. He's getting them. Matches are brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, Defense with your belt and Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. Right now, West Shore is kind of stretching their lead out here versus Palmer. Bush in on a shot. Sims trying to almost set the corner on him here. Feeding him some hips right now. Sims looking for an 8-1 lead here. He's got it now. 30 seconds left in the second. West Shore, big lead right now. Big lead. Sims looking for like a barb. Sims getting the near falls. He could be looking for a fall. It's 8 1. Good fight there by Bush. It is going to be 11 1. Sims. Sims dominating here right now. Sims going to go neutral to start the third takedown here. Be attacked. Same thing happened last match. Sims looking for the takedown here, throw by attempt. Bush battling out here. It's a shot by Bush. Sims and Bush. Bush looking to stave off this takedown. Is Sims gonna get this tack? He's got the bar bar. He could be looking for a fall. 
Bush has got to save his team some team points. And belly down. Sims needs that fall. Bush got a fight here. Sims trying to stack him up for a fall here. Bush trying to hang on. Got the barbed wire on him. 35 seconds left. That's a long time in that position. He's fighting hard. Bush fighting it. Let's see if he's going to get it. Sims going for it. Bush battling. Love the fight underneath for Bush. Oh, my gosh. That guy's fighting hard. He's not giving up. I love it. Listen, this is a, like a... I, I love it when kids fight like this. That is awesome. Bush still battling. Oh, he's going to get belly down. <laughs> That's going to save his team a team point. Young wrestlers out there watching. It might be 16-1, but he fought. This is a dual tournament. He saved his team a team point, and that could be huge at the end of the duel. We'll see. But Sims picks up the 16-1 tech fall and five more team points. 31 to 6. The... West Shore Eagles cruising. Up next, Whiteley. Whiteley's a fun one to watch, folks, for West Shore at 92 pounds. One of my favorites is Whiteley. Whiteley going to take on Layman. So Layman and Whiteley, gonna be a good one. Layman in the red ankle band, blue singlet for Palmer. Whiteley, green ankle band, black singlet for West Shore. West Shore dominating 33 to six here. Layman, blue singlet versus Whiteley in the black. Front headlock there for, for Layman. Him and Whiteley, should be a fun scrap here. Oh, nice job, that little knee tap. And there's a little dump by Whiteley, but Lehman does a great job, gets his hips back. What an exchange, great exchange here. 92 pounds, Defense Soap Duels. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap, 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 trigger on that one but layman's gonna step over layman should have two there two takedown and palmer looking to climb back into this thing shout out to the millberry mangler jeff polk one of my faves nwo for life northwest ohio in the hizzy i see all types are on here i got charlie Algazino over my left i got red over my right red with this pre you got pre-work pre-workout this morning Get your pre-workout on this? Okay, so I'll make sure. Red doesn't do, uh, he doesn't lift anymore, he just does push-ups, right? It's just push-ups. Red's on the push-up train, okay? Just so you guys know you want to get jacked and ripped out of your mind, look like Red Driscoll, do push-ups. Whiteley is up and out, it's 2-1 just like that. Layman is fun to watch, folks. This guy knows how to roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this guy down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark this name in my uh, imaginary notebook I don't have. Ooh, nice little like shuck by. Layman's, yeah, he's 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 in the he's in my uh, my memory bank. Two one lead, Layman right now. Layman, red singlet, Palmer takes a shot. Ninety two pounders on the mat. Layman, Whiteley, fifty seconds remains here in the period. Second period, 45 seconds now. Shot, fireman's carry attempt. Man, Layman's got crazy hips. He's like got really good hips. I mean, Whiteley gets that on 99% of opponents. Yeah, Layman, Layman's the guy you gotta write down. Write the name down, folks. Off the mat, we're gonna get a restart here. 22 seconds left. 2-1 lead, Layman. So Layman. Give you a little information on Layman. Maddox Layman is a two-time Ohio State runner-up. Kickoff runner-up and third in the Tulsa. 
It's pretty good. Whiteley's a runner up. Oh, nice job by Lehman going after it. He's got that underhook. Short time. Out of time. And wow, Lehman is going after it, folks. Whiteley and Lehman, yes, please. Give me this match on repeat. Hey, singles and doubles are there. Everything's there. Maddox yeah. Lehman underneath. 2 1 lead. Whiteley going to need one here. Probably going to need two. The way Ohio people wrestle. Not a lot of ride out mentality here. They think they can get two takedowns in a period, which is really hard to get against a guy like Maddox Lehman. Front headlock, he's really good with that underhook. He runs to an angle real well. And there it is, Whiteley again with like the barrel roll dump. And Lehman's got wild, crazy hips. You don't want to be in there and try and get like in a hip to hip seat belt position with him because he's got really good hips. Big fan of Lehman here, folks, if you haven't figured it out. I'm a big fan of Whiteley, as a matter of fact. So Whiteley, Lehman, great match. Best match of the duel so far. 3-1 lead, Maddox Lehman. Underhook now. He pulls the trigger again. Is he going to get one? He cuts across. Looking for the double now. This would tie it up if he get. Oh, Lehman does a great job. Oh, 32 seconds, Maddox Lehman. Stifling the offense of Whiteley. Holy smokes, what a match. Palmer's got guys, folks, if you didn't know. There's the stall on Lehman. He's got another one to give, though. 21 seconds here. Defense of duels, gold pool, 92 pounds, 33 to 6 dual score, 3 1 score in the match here. Lehman Whiteley. Layman three. Oh, nice. He's going for it. Certainly not for lack of trying. Connor Whiteley double legs him. Got a trip that throws him. Oh, we're off the mat. Three seconds left. Can Whiteley pull a rabbit out of a hat? So Whiteley. Layman. Layman's like, I don't have two. How didn't you give me two? Three seconds. Layman can take a step back. That's cautions, cheating. Whiteley. And Maddox Lehman going to win this one versus Whiteley. And Whiteley does the leg kick at the end. Doesn't work. And there it is. 33 to 9 after 92 pounds. Lehman picks up a huge win for Palmer. That was a great match. Wow. All right, here we go on the next one. We're going to go to, I believe, 96 pounds. 96ers coming out on the mat. We're going to have Cole Spear. Cole Spear for... Looks like Cole Spear coming out for Palmer. Spear coming out against West Shore's 96-pound McLaughlin. McLaughlin, Spear. Spear in the red. McLaughlin in the black and gold. Spear McLaughlin. Spear rocking the old Penn State headgear. And Whiteley Lehman was a great match. Spear McLaughlin. I don't know if it can if it can reach the hype. But that looks like a takedown for McLaughlin and a switch attempt right away off of it. And Spear wrestles through the position, kind of. McLaughlin going to go head under as Spear trying to funk, do some stuff. Stalemate. Eight seconds remains here in the first. 2-0 lead. McLaughlin versus Spear. Defense of duels, gold pull, 96 pounder Spear tries to roll. McLaughlin going to remain on top, maybe get dinged for stalling. He is, and he does, but he does take his 2 0 lead into the second as McLaughlin. So 
2022 Defense Soap Duels brought to you by Defense Soap. Defend what you have built. We got 922 versus Burnett on the other mat. 15 14 over there. Right now, driver's seat over here are the West Shore Eagles. I'm just going to call them the West Shore Eagles because it's the St. Edward Eagles, folks. Eye poke, spear, steps out, McLaughlin. McLaughlin going to talk to Coach Jeff Leonard and to Coach Siku. Caution, Spear. <clears throat> so here we go. Defense Soap Duels. McLaughlin takes a shot. Spear, nice front headlock. Spear looking to run the corner. Knee tap. That was nice. Little knee tap. McLaughlin not letting it. It's a leg hook to take down. Spear, Spear, 3-2 lead on McLaughlin. Puts him back down on the mat. McLaughlin, belly down, flattened out, 30 seconds left here in the second. McLaughlin gonna have to get one. Spear going for that roll through tilt. Is he gonna get it? Off the mat, we're gonna get a restart here. 11 seconds, 3-2 lead for Spear of Palmer. So the end of two, Spear, 3-2 lead on McLaughlin. McLaughlin gonna have to figure something out. As Spear looked good in the second. Not so much in the first, but he's got the lead going here in the third. Lefty single, beautiful by Spear. Hooks that lag, double lag now. McLaughlin looking to get this. Oh, nice job by Spear. Catches the leg. Oh, man. Is Spear going to get this? What a bizarre position. And it's off a stalemate. Wow, 12 seconds left. Can McLaughlin go and pull a rabbit out of a hat here? Let's see. Shot. McLaughlin. Spear kind of wrenches him. Five seconds, he's got it. Oh, nice little toss, cross, arm bundle, step over, nothing. Spear gonna take the win, 3-2. Spear gonna pick up the 3-2 win and put his team back in a good position to come roaring back here as Spear picks up three team points here at the Defense Soap Duels, 33-12 after that Spear win for Palmer. Next one out on the mat, here we go. Coming out. We've got another tough one here, 33 to 12. We've got a 21 point lead now 
for the West Shore Club Eagles. This is 100 pounds. Swagger versus Swagger versus Barrero. So Swagger, Swagger in the black singlet. Barrero in the red, white, and blue. So Barrero versus Swagger. Swagger Barrero. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap. Defend your belt. Swagger for the. A oh, nice double leg there by Barrero. Barrero got rear standing, pulls him back, two takedown, Barrero. So Barrero with a 2-0 lead here on Swagger. Six seconds remain. One minute first period kind of throws some of these guys off, I think. Barrero on Swiger. So, neutral choice by Swiger here to start the second down 2-0 to Barrero. Shot, Swiger. Barrero just kind of like double overs him and just sack of potatoes and throws him down. Goes behind him. Four zero lead Barrero here, thirty three to twelve lead for West Shore over Palmer. Nine two two and Burnett over there, eighteen to sixteen. It looks like what a freaking duel that is. You can see both of them on the live feed right now. And Barrero with the nice tilt there, getting the near balls. Looks like he's either holding two maybe there. I can't see what he's holding. He's got to release it though. Swagger. Oh, Barrero runs him over. Barrero looking for a fall. This would be huge. Barrero looking for the fall. Swagger's in trouble. Five seconds left in the period. Whoa, great fight by Swagger. That's the end of the period. Barrero's rolling him up, 7-0, holy smokes. Barrero goes, Mitch Clark takes top. Swiger gotta find a way to get out. Here he goes for some more near falls. Two more near fall, 9-0 lead, Barrero. Swiger gotta find some points, gotta get out of there. He did not choose top by accident. It was to get points like he's doing. And that's good, up to his feet. Barrero pulls him out, we're off the mat, we're gonna get a restart. 9-0. zero. Barrero. Barrero, Swagger. Camden Barrero is a Tulsa runner up, PA state champ. Going to work on top is Barrero. More near falls he's going to pick up. Is he going to get the tack? And two more 11 0 Barrero. Here's the thing, can Swiger survive? If Swiger can survive, he can save his team a team point. 11-1, a takedown by Barrero here. Ends the match in technical fall. Swiger battling, Barrero kind of shoves him off, we're off the mat, we're gonna get a restart at 23 seconds. And Swiger hang on here, Barrero the real deal, folks. Oh, beautiful lefty single by Barrero. Two takedown, it's a tech fall. And that's going to be five more. 33-17 after the Barrero tech fall. And a huge win. 
And right now we got ourselves a it's a better duel and closer duel than you think because there's some forfeits coming up for West Shore and it's gonna get good here, folks. So your dual score 33 to 17 after 100 pounds going into 105. So here come the 105 pounders on the mat. Palmer looking to stage a serious comeback. Josh Sheets coming out. Sheets at 105. He's going to be in the blue singlet. Sheets going to be taking on Gorski. Gorski versus Sheets. Gorski Sheets. Here we go. Gorski in the black singlet. Green ankle band sheets in the red. 33 to 17 in the dual score in favor of West Shore against Palmer here. They need a huge win out of Gorski here, does West Shore. Win by Gorski makes it really hard to win this duel. Because mathematically speaking, there are only, I'll tell you the points left on the board. Shot. Beautiful ankle pick. No score for sheets. So the there's one oh this is 105. We're gonna have 110, 115, 120, 130, 140, 160, There's plenty of opportunities left for Palmer to get back in this thing, and there's going to be sounded like guys think so there's 18 points gonna be left up on the board. They're going to put on the board for Palmer because of some more forfeits. So will there be double forfeits? Who knows? So the 18 points, it's a... Geez, it's only a 16-point lead right now. So look out for Palmer to down the back stretch here. Guys like Gorski got to win. So... On top right away, Gorski boots come in. Sheets underneath, looking to catch Gorski high here and shake him off. Looking reversal, Sheets. Gorski's in trouble. He crossed forward two reversal for Sheets. Yeah, there's a lot of points left on the board. There's eight matches left. I mean, Palmer could win this in a route, folks. They're down 33-17. They could win this in a route based on what Guy Seiko told me with forfeits. They're going to need a win here out of Gorski for West Shore to win this. ever heard of a swing match? This is that. Gorski Sheets. Gorski up to his feet. Sheets 18 seconds to return him. He does that. Gorski switches into Sheets. Five seconds left. Sheets going to ride that out. Take a 2-0 lead into the third with Choice. Uh, no. Choice is Gorski. Gonna go neutral. Gorski gonna need a takedown. So Sheets with a 2-0 lead on Gorski here. Shot, lefty single, Gorski. Sheets tries to broomstick him almost. Gorski runs him down, nothing yet. Oh, the shin wizard. Gorski turns into it. Could he get Peterson? Oh, Sheets does a great job. But they give him the two. We're tied at two. I like how the Palmer coaches are just not even panicking at all. Their guy is just like not in a bad spot. That is great peek out. And oh, looking for the reversal is Sheets. Got to put Gorski down. He's got him. There it is, counting near falls. Gorski gives up some near falls. It's gonna be 35 seconds left. 
Sheets gonna ice that thing with a two and two reversal, six two lead. This is your defense soap gold pool, round one. Palmer taking on West Shore. So, 11 seconds remains. Sheets looking to pick up a 6-2 win here and put Palmer within 13 points. They're down by 16. There's Gorski rolls through it. Sheets stays on top. 6-2 win for Sheets. He knocks off Gorski. It's going to be 33-20 to after 105 going into 110. Here at the Defense of Duels, Palmer clawing back into this thing. So here we go. We've got our next match coming out. Your dual score, 33 to 20. Tightening up. Tightening up, folks. The one tens are going to be on the mat. Who's this coming out for you guys? That's the Gorski. Luke Gorski. Okay, we got Luke Gorski. Last one was Tommy. So we got Gorski, Gorski back to back. 110. So Luke Gorski, Naubert. Carson Naubert is Tulsa champ, Tulsa champ, 610 champ, 610 state champ out of Wisconsin. So Naubert. Taking on Luke Gorski. So Gorski versus Naubert. And Naubert's pretty good. He's got a cradle strapped up already to take down Naubert. Naubert's a Tulsa champ. Gorski's up against it, folks. Just a cartwheel over there. Gorski and Tagorski back to back. Tommy Gorski last match. Luke Gorski this match. Match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, the film that you built. Norbert out of Wisconsin. Two-o lead, Norbert. Five seconds left. Three to 20 dual score in favor of West Shore. Norbert looking to reverse Gorski. Gorski could be in big trouble here. Norbert could be looking for a fall. Oh man. This duel's about to get real tight, folks. Norbert. Seven zero lead, Norbert. Five seconds left in the second. 7-0 lead, Norbert of Palmer. Got to be thinking major decision here versus Gorski. Norbert thinking Merkel, maybe? I can't see. Gorski gonna go underneath. He drove from Delaware here. another kid. 
So Naubert goes side saddle headlock. 7-0 lead. Gorski got a battle in this and saved that major decision as he tries to cartwheel over. There it is. He was thinking Merkel. He went for it. No, he's looking to go boot in. No boot though. Cranking power half is Naubert. Gorski. There's the half. Naubert looking for the fall. Gorski in trouble. Naubert going to get that fall. Gorski trying to battle through it. Naubert got him in the position. Picks the head up. Looking for the fall against Gorski. 45 seconds left. And waiting for the fall call here. Can Gorski hang on? Naubert's trying to get it. Squeezing hard. Picking up. Gorski fighting here. There it was. Oh, he punched through. Goes back the other way. Great fight there by Gorski. Catches a single leg on Naubert. Oh, that was nice. Oh, wow. Naubert is the real deal. Oh, my goodness. 10-0 lead. He's looking for the tack. 14 seconds left. Gorski got to try and fight this and not give up the fall. Trying to readjust now is Naubert. He's going to pick up the tech fall and not the pin. Gorski's going to save his team a team point. But that's fight you like to see. And we're going to have a 25-35, 35, 35, 33-25 duel right after that one. Naubert picks up the technical fall for Palmer. Things are getting interesting going into 115 pounds as we have a 33-25 duel and the, the forfeits are coming. Caden Hodge, four-time Michigan State champ, going to pick up the forfeit. That's going to make it 33-31 as we go into 120 pounds. We have Tyson Spicer. Spicer coming out for Palmer. Spicer going to take on Blaze Van Gundy. So Van Gundy and Spicer. This is a big one. Swing match. Spicer in the red and the Santa Claus singlet for Van Gundy. Van Gundy, the real deal, folks. I've watched him today. He looks real good. And on a shot right away. His dad is Chance, the head coach to takedown for Van Gundy. His dad's a head coach at Dublin Kaufman. He's wrestling for West Shore today. Blaze Van Gundy, real deal. Holyfield, folks. He's 120 pounders. Spicer, Ohio runner up in the red on the bottom. Van Gundy going to work on top here. Matches brought to by Defense Hope, Defense Hope, Defense Hope, Belt. Gold pool. Wow, Van Gundy going right to work on Spicer. Spicer doing a nice job, fights through it. A Spicer looking wing and roll on Van Gundy. And now cross wrist, 10 seconds left here in the first. Van Gundy 2-0 lead right now on Spicer. 2-0, Van Gundy going into the second. Choice Van Gundy, Blaze Van Gundy gonna go underneath Spicer. 2-0 lead, Van Gundy underneath. Dual score 33-31 in favor of West Shore. And up and out is going to be actually a reversal for Van Gundy. He's got a 4-0 lead, they're gonna need it. Ooh, Van Gundy looks like he's gonna run that over. Had that half, caught it. Spicer looked right into it. Van Gundy could be looking for a fall. Spicer's in trouble. Van Gundy got the far arm too. Could be looking for a fall. Please, Van Gundy settles back. Oh, this would be huge. If he can pick up the fall, this is huge for West Shore. Please, Van Gundy looking to put West Shore in a position to win the duel. They got four fits left to give. It's 33-31. And it's great fight by Spicer underneath. Great fight by Spicer underneath. Wow. 42 Let's seconds go, though, please. Van Gundy trying to get it. Yes. Picking the arm up. Get that elbow. He's jumping sides. Oh, Spicer gonna come out. It's gonna be 7-0. Holy smokes, 25 seconds left in the second period. 
Wow, 7 0. Van Gundy. Spicer saves his team. A bunch of team points. Three to be exact right now. Could have got pinned. Would have been six. Now, right now, if it stays this way, it's a regular decision. It's down 7 0. So Van Gundy went for it. Had Spicer in a position to pin him on his back. Couldn't get it. Third period choice. Spicer gonna go Mitch Clark. He's gonna take top. Van Gundy gonna go underneath. So here we go. 7-0 lead Van Gundy on Spicer. Spicer's on top now. Spicer trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat. Boot comes in. Clearly he knows something. He went Mitch Clark. He went, went top. Van Gundy trying to shake. Catches the head. Van Gundy got him in a good position and again. Van Gundy could pin him. Oh, this could be huge. West Shore needs this. Van Gundy in another position. It's going to be at least a tack. But there's the pin. Van Gundy picks it up. Oh, wow. That was huge. Huge pin. And West Shore is going to extend their lead which was shrunk to two. It's going to be 39-38 going into 130 here, and we'll see if they can hang on here as Van Gundy picks up the fall. So here we go. Your 130-pounders are on the mat. Going to be looking at Hemel taking on Moro Hemel for St. Edward. Oh, check that. West Shore. 130, and that is Moro for Palmer. He's rocking the sales singlet. This might come down to Driscoll and Welch. Moro on top. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the tilt for Moro. He's got the two on one. You gotta watch pinning himself. Oh, he comes back the other way. There's a roll and a reroll. Two one counts there. Short, and that's the end of the first 2 0 -oh lead. Moro. So, Drew Morrow is Ohio State champ and a kickoff in Arena Worlds champ. Drew Morrow up 2-0 on Hummel. Hummel underneath. Morrow on top. Your dual score, 39-31. And I think there's another, there's two more forfeits coming for West Shore. So at some point, they're going to need to pick up a bonus point win to have a chance at winning this. And this would probably do it. A fall here for Moro would put them in the lead. I like that pass they do. They do this pass. They bait you into passing. Now he's got that knee in a horrible position. Morrow's going to pin him or blow his knee out, or both. There it was. He had the fall. Wow. And he might have hurt his knee really bad. He definitely hurt his knee, and he had him all types of... I can't believe he didn't stop that. That was wild. How did he not see that? Unbelievable. So Hamill hurt his knee pretty good there. The official somehow didn't see it. I'm confused because I saw it from over here, but I know how knees work, so he can't win them all. Hopefully Hummel's okay. Morrow did a nice job there. They, they bait you into a pass, and then they sit up on you, and they get a near fall. It's really nice. It's like really nice. So 
six one Morrow. And Hamill is going to continue here. Morrow will cover 6 0 lead. putting himself in that position and he does the same thing. Two more. No, he didn't count. I saw I thought I thought, I thought he counted two. So there is two more. There it was. Maybe stop taking the bait on the leg pass. I do not know. And now the roll through tilt for Morrow. I'm all gonna fight through it. No near fall count. 8 0 lead here going into the third for Morrow. Morrow's choice. Morrow gonna go under. We are at 130 pounds. Morrow. Looking reversal here. Gonna be 10 0 after that reversal. <laughs> Tilt for Morrow and it's gonna end in a tech fall. Morrow picks up the tech fall 12 0. It's gonna be. 639. Still West Shore's lead, and they're going to lead this whole entire duel almost. And it looks like at the very end they are going to lose. So I believe our next forfeit's coming up. So this is going to go to Palmer. 39-36. Um, they've got 12 points coming. For this to end in a tie, Driscoll's going to have to pin. And they're gonna take their first lead of the duel here. 39-36, now it's going to be 42-36. And the only way that they can tie this duel and or win on criteria would be with a Driscoll pin. Driscoll gonna to have to pin. Here we go, the 160 pounders on the mat. Driscoll versus Welch. Driscoll in the black, Welch in the blue and white. Joel Welch, Tulsa champ, kickoff champ, Ohio State champ, Driscoll state champ. So two state champs going at it. And Driscoll's gonna have to pin him. And that's just what it's gonna take. It's gonna be, it's not even gonna matter. It's still gonna be, Palmer's gonna win because they got a forfeited heavyweight, so. 42-39, no matter what the Driscoll resolve is, it will be a Palmer win by probably three points. Three or six points, there's a stall underneath on Welch. So Palmer brought it, three holes for West Shore is gonna be the difference. And end of the first 2-0 lead, Driscoll. So low to Palmer, down 2-0, he defers to Driscoll. Driscoll gonna go underneath. No cradles! So well to Palmer. Well, it's on top, down 2-0. Driscoll underneath with a 2-0 lead. Driscoll kind of flattening out. Welch has been warned. 
for stalling. Driscoll gonna get dinged here. He's got 55 seconds to get active. Sparks, where are you at? Palmer's gonna knock off West Shore here. Beautiful mat go. return by Welch. He's gonna cut him out with 16 seconds left. Or maybe Driscoll earned it. Get one! Real lead, Driscoll, nine Get seconds left. Driscoll front headlock on Welch. Doesn't even matter if he pens on the duel, is going to be Palmer's. I'm actually looking for the heavyweight. Is heavyweight a double forfeit? What? You have a forfeited heavyweight, right? Yeah. Do they have a heavyweight? Uh, I don't see a heavyweight. Do you see a heavyweight? You're really active! Our heavyweight dropped out because he had a better. I'm pretty sure they have a heavyweight. So 3 0 lead. Shot, head outside. Driscoll cuts across double. Looks to run to it. Falls to his hip. Has the leg hooked. Welch showing some flexibility. 3-0 lead. One minute, two seconds remains. Nothing. He's got that far ankle. Driscoll's got to just drive into it real hard. He's got some real estate here. He's gonna bump him to his hip, his head stuck in the inside. Two takedown, looks like, I don't know how Driscoll's there, he's got it now. Driscoll, 5-0 lead. I do not see, Driscoll's gonna need a mate. If there's double forfeited heavyweight, which I don't think there is, that's what it looks like. Are we gonna have a tie? 27 seconds left, 5-0 lead, Driscoll. I, I'm like, seriously, I want to know what's going on here. Inquiring my. Hey, they have a heavyweight, don't they? Do they have a heavyweight? No, I don't think so. You don't. So double forfeit is going to be a tie? Is it really? Yes, look. You're down. You're, it's, Driscoll needs a major. So they're listed as a heavyweight, though. They have a heavyweight listed on the roster. Someone else. And neither Feaster nor Zemirowski must not be here. I don't know. Am I missing something? Looks like this duel's gonna end up a tie. We're gonna go to criteria. So I'm gonna have to keep you folks posted on who won. If this is if this is what I see happening. Driscoll's gotta not get pinned. That three near fall would have helped. But Driscoll. Welch cradles them up, loss of control, 5-1. And we're gonna have criteria. Criteria? Nope, never mind. Zimorowski's coming out. They do have a heavyweight. It's over. They won. They won. Yeah, they have I didn't see the dude getting ready or anything. I was like, oh, he's right. hurt. He's hurt anyways. All right. So there it is. Palmer going to win. 42-42. But they're going to get the walkover at heavyweight. Zimorowski's going to come out. Take the forfeit. Zimorowski, you tricked me. You rascal. He's going to come out. Take the forfeit. It's going to end up 48-42. Zimorowski going to ice this thing with a forfeit. And there it is. Palmer knocks off West Shore 48-42 in the first round of the gold pool. So we're going to go to our next match, 9-2-2 or Burnett on this mat. All right, so there it is. The student has become the teacher. Palmer knocks off West Shore. Palmer was a West Shore guy here at the Defense Soap Duels. Wow. Check out the next match between, I don't know if it's, it's 922 or Burnett. Check it out on this mat. We'll be here in probably, it looks like probably 20 minutes.